Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 a another ZX Spectrum versus Commodore 64 comparison video where I take a look at, well, basically an absolute classic Uridium. Now, um, basically, this was released on the Commodore in 19, uh, Commodore 64 in 1985, and it got around sort of a limitation because it, it, it was renowned for its super smooth scrolling, and it got around a limitation or apparently something that the Commodore couldn't actually do, but we'll get to that in the Commodore 64 part of the gameplay. It was also released um, 1985 for Commodore, then a year or so later on the Spectrum, the Amstrad, uh, the Atari ST. There's a there's a NES version, but that's kind of a renamed version. Um, well, it, it's, it's the port. Port. Remember that movie, The Last Starfighter, the first movie to use a massive amount of CD graphics? It's that. They just shape the sprite differently. I think it's done by Mindscape. Supposedly it's quite a good version. I've never played it. But I remember when this got released on the Spectrum back in the day, Houston Consultants, as they were originally known, were the stuff of absolute legend. You've only got to look at the games they did, such as, you know, the Cybernod Games and Exelon Zynapse. I guess you could be somewhat inspired by this, but... They, they, when this was, to, you know, mentioned it was coming, everyone said they can't, they won't be able to pull off Uridium. Surely they can't pull off Uridium, and they did. I had it back in the day, and I absolutely suck at it, and still do, as you're about to find out. Anyway, so it's set across 15 levels, I think, and each level is a massive, massive spaceship, otherwise known as a dreadnought. They're all coming to Earth. It's up to the single lone pilot, because it's always a single lone pilot. We don't have squadrons in the future, apparently. I don't know budget concerns and stuff like that. And so you have to destroy each and every one of them by wiping out everything on the surface and then landing and then taking off, flying backwards uh, before it blows up. I think I did level one once on the Spectrum and I've never ever played Commodore 64 version other than dabbled at it a few times just to see what it looked like having played this version back in the day. I'll get to the point in a moment. So anyway, you move forward, you move backwards, you speed up, you slow down, there's obstacles that fly at you, there's lock-on missiles, there's objects that you, you know, walls and obstacles basically that will destroy you. It's incredibly hard. Now, Uridium is supposed to be the name of a metal because each state is named after a metal element. I don't think the guy realised, so the story goes, that when he called it Uridium, that it wasn't actually a metal element. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe they've since discovered it. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, while they said you cannot, Mantis is my life, by the way, do super smooth scrolling like the Commodore version on the Spectrum, it's up there. Bollocks. Um, it's up there. You know, it's, it's good scrolling. It's not the best scrolling you've ever seen on the Spectrum, but I don't have to destroy those. It's not as smooth as the Commodore. I can tell you, oh, bollocks, the pylons. I can tell you that right now, just from, you know, loading them up to see if I had a ROM on my uh, Mini that worked. My Commodore, not the car. It shouldn't really go this slow, because see that thing? It's a lock-on missile. you got to destroy these. These, oh, move, run away, run away. Bollocks, I got, uh, did the missile get me? But, well, time got me. So hard. Memories of playing it as a kid come flooding back. Right. Go up top. So what you do is, shoot the last one, then run away, run away. It's a lot, it's a lot of rinse and repeat. I don't think the scrolling's too bad. I mean, yoink! Balls, compared to the Commodore version, which I haven't shown you yet, it, it, it doesn't really hold a candle to it. I do like the monochrome graphics. I know, I know I should, see, for a game that came out with the Commodore first, I should have played the Commodore version first, but I also do the Spectrum version first. But yeah, I like these monochrome graphics. I think they're sharper, you know, much sharper. I'm kind of doing a reverse comparison video now. Right, let's just get to the end. Yeah, yeah, the scrolling's it's not super smooth, but it's it's all right. I mean, it's supposedly a game that could never be done on the Spectrum. Um, it's friggin' hard though. See, look, let's speed up. Slow down, speed up. I don't want him to shoot me. 
No, 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 get off the screen before he makes the noise. Don't blow me up. I don't know if that's the last one. Move around. See what I mean? I don't... Run away! I don't think there's a time limit. Turning around is a bit... Takes a bit of effort because you've got to slow... Speed up because of that bastard. And then there's going to be one... No! Oh, I don't remember being this hard. Oh! But you've got to chuck on your anchors and then you'll do, you know, you'll, you'll do the complete reverse turn. But... Boosh! Jesus, this is hard. The problem with that is, obviously, if you haven't timed it correctly, shit will find your face. Run away. Go low. Watch the donuts. Because they're donuts. Seriously, they're not spaceships. No, no, no. Oh, I got that one, though. Boy, what shot me then? Houston consultants clearly hated children back in the day because this game was aimed at children. But, yeah, do you know what? The scrolling isn't perfect. It's not perfect. Um, but I do like the monochromic graphics because they're sharp. And, you know, for such an early uh, shoot 'em up of this level or, or degree of, you know, detail, it's very, very, very impressive. Again, everyone said, you're not going to be able to do this on the Spectrum. And all it took was a year. And the man from the mall said, Mr. T had gone. And he was never coming back. Point to that quote. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great technical achievement. There are games that, you know, scroll better later on, but they don't have that kind of chuck a you emotion and you go backwards. Anyway, that completely and utterly got away from me. So, let's compare it to the version that supposedly was untouchable and this could never be ported of to the Spectrum because it's the 48K Spectrum. You know what I mean. To the Commodore version. So here we go with Uridium on the Commodore 64, the original version. Again, I probably should have done this, flip these uh, videos around and play the Commodore version and the Spectrum version next. But hey, this is just the kind of, you know, format for this series of videos. And also, is it Uridium or is it Iridium? Anyway, let's crack into it. Obviously, it's got six hit music on the title screen. The Spectrum had music, reasonably good music, but it was only 48k, so it was, <clears throat> excuse me. It's, it's all the metal themes in the air. They make my throat gacky. So it was a given that this was going to beat it with the, you know, the Sid Chip goodness. But let's get into it. Right, so... Well, that's the demo. Right, right off the bat... Oh, we dropped the music. <clears throat> a lot of metal. And we go into the game. We just got sound effects. You come out of a little, you know, unit ship in the middle of space, which is kind of cool. Oh, right away, obviously, it's got colour. It's not monochrome. It's got lots of, lots of colour. And you can see that the... Uh, the scrolling is beyond super smooth. I kind of prefer, I'm going to be honest, you know, the, the Spectrum version. It may not have, ooh, it's smooth scrolling. Same rules apply, destroy everything on the ship. It seems to me that there's less of them. Uh, it seems to me that even right at the start, it's a tad easier. I don't know what that means. Oh, I know that's probably a locker. Oh, fuck, there's a tad easier and then there's a wall. Um, Boring matter of fact, as I mentioned at the start of it, something that the Commodore 64 wasn't supposed to be able to do, I don't know about, I was never a Commodore 64 person, was parallel scrolling. So they got around that with this really li little nifty trick here, which is see the Dreadnought itself, the spaceship, that's actually the background. And see the star field, that's actually, oh there was a lock on missile, it's not half as bloody quick as it is on the Spectrum version. <clears throat> it gives you a warning as well, that boop, 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 boop. So yeah, the, the background is actually the foreground, and the foreground is actually the background, so that's how they've done parallel scrolling. I'm sure some clever boffin can explain that in the comment section far better than me, because that's just what I read. You know? But yeah, so it's got sm smoother scrolling, uh, it's got colour, I don't like, maybe, maybe you'll disagree, I don't like Runaway, the lack of sharpness. I just, maybe I'm just used to Spectrum Monochromic game. Fuck, I didn't. Oh, same rules apply. I could have actually avoided that one. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to monochromic spectrum games and like that level of detail. You know, the way they get run attribute class. But, yeah. So, you got that. Whoop. Big whoop. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, it, see, maybe because the scrolling's not so jagged, that's why it feels a little bit easier or a little bit more forgive. Run away! Forgiving. Slow down. Yeah. Because slow and steady wins the race, apparently. So Marge said. There! 
fuck, I keep, my eye is to keep destroying everything, so I keep forgetting that those things are there. To be fair, both versions, they don't really stand out from the background too much. Maybe because it's not isometric. I don't know when you should be worried that the ship's going to kill you, or when it's not going to kill you. They seem to be a little bit more, they would kill you. <laughs> that got away from me, on the spectrum. Oh! Oh no, there's another one! Bollocks. They are definitely a little bit more forgiven in the time it allows you to take over them than they are in the Spectrum version. I feel that I can beat this. I felt like I didn't have a friggin' chance on the Spectrum version. This one feels doable. Words to die by, right there. Run away from that. Where's the other one? Where's the bird that this feather came from? I'm saying that till one of you run away, one of you gets it. But did one of, one of them just fire at me? One of the spaceships. There's a... Oh, this is doable. I just keep forgetting. I'm looking at the front of the screen, where and and so I'm taking my eye off the uh, the prize, and that's why shit keeps finding my face. Is the layout different as well? Have they done the ships in a different order? Oh, yoink! Run away! See, he just hit me then, but none of the other times when they flew over did they hit me. I'm finding the variables here in both versions as to where. This is definitely easy on the spectrum. When I should be worried that something's going to collide with me, and when I shouldn't. A bit inconsistent, if you will. Run away. Middle of the road. Country music, basically. Maybe I should do this. There you go, I landed. Well, never done that before. What does that mean? Quit on the right. Oh, it's a game. Balls. What does that do? Oh, I've done it. I'm blown up. You're going down. No, I think I just have to get out of dodge. Fly in reverse, I think. I've still got to worry about stuff finding my face, I think. Oh, no, no, I don't. The dreadnought's gone. Bye. Oh, there you go. I don't think I've ever done that before. and probably won't ever do that again. Okay. Come on, it's better music. It has smoother scrolling. Uh, a Spectrum version is not smooth. I just think uh, the monochromic graphics are sharper. Uh, see those things there as well that launch the missiles? The Commodore balls. What a thing to say, but just before I say, the Commodore version is far more forgiving and easier than the Spectrum. Or maybe that's just me. Do you know what? I prefer the graphics on the Spectrum, maybe not the scrolling. Uh, I just wish it had the same sort of balls. <laughs> not helping my cause. The difficulty level is the, the Commodore version, and then I would have preferred it. But I've got to say, um, don't like the chunkiness, like the colour, but prefer the graphics on the Spectrum. This is a weird roundup. Commodore gets it, unfortunately. Hate myself for saying that, but the Commodore gets it. There are a bunch of sequels to this, or expansions to this, and there was one that was done a few years ago as well, I believe. Anyway, I would love to know what you think. Did you have this on the Spectrum? Did you have this on any of the other versions? Could you even beat it? Could you get off the first level? And which of these two versions do you prefer? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.